Yo. 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 Hey. Nin, thank you the 50 months of tier three. Holy shit. Welcome back. Oh, hello, my silly little Twitch chat. You wouldn't mind saying hi to Instagram, would you? Thank you for the year, Clover. Holy shit. Welcome back. Can you not un... No, Milton needs... No, no, I'm... You have to wait your five minutes, Milton. <sighs> Guys, be honest. Do you want me dead or do you love my streams? Personally, I love your streams. This is for people like you. Have an amazing day. If you answered that you loved my streams, that one was for you. No one is here willingly. Guys. Be honest with me, I peaked 1.8 thousand viewers on the day that I came out. How many of them do you think were hate watching, genuinely? I think at least 400. Because that was like the... That day was fucking crazy. <laughs> Do you remember that one? That one tweet? Uh, someone subtweeted me and was like, I wish content creators would shut up about other content creators. And it was a tweet about me and he had 7,000 likes. That was so fucking bad. It was so fucking bad. And, and, then, and then I replied to the tweet and they deleted it. <laughs> Um, I'm happy I have those kinds of battles on the internet, you know. Guys. I just need to show you something. Um, a few days ago, I told you that I got put on a, a Snapchat editorial story or some shit about Noah Schnapp coming out. And I was like, they called me a gay icon. You know, Poggies, this is so cool. Snapchat calling me so awesome. Dude, I got sent a, a, a fucking screen recording of the actual story. And if you listen, they don't just call me a gay icon. They make it out to seem like I'm trying to hit on him. Wait, hold on. This is my task manager. Look, look. Wait, listen to this. Listen to it carefully, what it says. Now he is gay. There are so many gay icons that seem to be interesting. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Seem to be interested. I'm a, I'm a minor. What the fuck? Snapchat. <laughs> Guys, I have eyes for one man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't take John A seriously. Like when I when I my version of this picture, like you can completely tell that I'm not I'm not even trying to look good. John A John A is putting in the work to 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 try and look awesome in this picture. <laughs> John A, you're not calling anyone. You have no hose on your phone. I'm sorry. Love to John A though.
I swear you took that exact same photo. Yeah, but like you can tell that I'm not. <laughs> I just I love John Light. I just really like I love him. Dude, guys, I'm serious. Okay, I don't want to be rude, but you guys need to stop watching John A. Because he's ever since he started averaging enough viewers to apply for Twitch partner. He's, like, actually got an ego. Like, he joins calls with me, and, like, um, and, like, and, <laughs> and he, and he, like, aggresses me for no reason. Like, I'm there, I'm like, hi, John A. He's like, shut the fuck up, you bitch. Oh, my God. I can't even fucking stand you. I'm like, John A, all you do is fucking go live, say hi to Bark, then make a fucking meal with an avocado, you annoying fuck. He's finally treating you like you treat him. No, 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 no. Let it be known that off stream, I'm actually really nice to John A. I mean, I know this might seem like a like a concept that's difficult to believe, but I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like nice to him, and I and I care for him. I'm, <laughs> I send him TikToks that I find funny, and he sends him, he sends mine back. But then. All of a sudden, he's starting getting really mean to me. He's really mean. It's wrong to lie. No, I'm telling you the truth. Like, I'm serious. Sir. Look, who would give a- who would give an unbiased answer? Scott Post, right? I called him on FaceTime audio. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh... If he put down the phone, it means I'm nice to John A. What the fuck? Guys, no, because you can't make this up. He's always on my side, Scott Post. Love him. Cat sitting. Oh my god, can we get a cat sitting in chat? That's literally me. Me, me and you guys chat when I'm streaming. I'm the one on the left and you guys are the ones on the right. Camera is that? Uh, it's um, it's uh, a Sony A6000. There you go. Your stream is the fire. Don't say that. I think my stream is gr my stream is great. Okay. Guys, I need to try something, okay? Will you guys conduct an experiment with me? It's actually, all you have to do is type a word in chat. I mean, it's not really like a, a big experiment. Pick up, I'm sorry, the bit's dead, Scott Post. You've let it go. Okay, hold on. So, there's this new feature on BTTV, um, where apparently you can change the name of emotes without having to re-upload them. And I just want to test it. So, this is Arrive. I'm just going to give it a new name. Like, like, R, R, Cat. Will this work? Type R, Cat in chat. The emote. What the fuck? Chat. They made one good change to the platform. Oh my god. Oh my god, they've made a good change. For the first time, I, can, I don't have to re-upload emotes. Okay, uh, I'm changing it back. 
We can make- we can finally make the happy emote happy. No, no, that's the name of the emote. I'm keeping it like that. That's how it's meant to be. It- Tomo only changes- Tomo only has it as happy because- because- because it makes it easy, you know? You guys are- you guys are- you guys are like soldiers, you know? One chat if you're a- if you're a Beats TV soldier. There you go. I'm a reformed Keck W user. Wait, chat. Genuinely, not as in chat if you've had the Keck W phase where where you type Keck W everything you find funny. I haven't been here in a while. You sound different. I don't sound different to my birthday, do I? I sound like the same. I haven't, my voice hasn't changed since like the start of last year. First sip, thank you for the seven months. Half a year and a bit. Your mic? No, I've had this mic for ages. The 2021 Max G's voice. I used to, I used to, I used to, I used to be on the verge of tears playing Counter Strike with like 30 year old French dudes because I would queue in the London servers and the Parisians would queue with me because it was the closest server to them and they would be like, I don't give a fuck that, that you're doing well. You sound like you just came out of your mother's womb. And I would be on the fucking brink of tears. And I'd be like, I don't even sound like that. Because I had in an internal voice that sounded deeper to me. And, oh my god, watching back those clips, it was bad. It was, those, those were bad. Those were dark days for the Max Juice channel, you know? I used to talk like, like I was always out of breath. Like I always wanted to say more, but I'd be like, that's, that's like how I would stream. <laughs> oh, have you seen this fucking insane shit with Aiden Ross? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, where is it? Isn't this... Okay, this is the most insane tweet I've ever read in my fucking life. Just filed my visitation form. Besides my lawyer, I'm allowed four, five visitors. Four are my family members. The fifth one is Aiden Ross. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? They're gay as fuck. He needs some top G. He's gone too long without it. I'm telling you. That's why, that's why he let him on. They're actually gay. I know. I know they are. That's a, that is a, that's a crazy chat message, Kel. That's crazy. That's crazy. How can he tweet from prison? I've actually always wondered, like, do you know that you, you can, like, kind of use your phone in prison? I've always wondered... Like, like, why they allow that? Like, you can just go on social media. I feel like that's really bad. But he's, um, he's on probation or something. So I think he's allowed to use his phone. But I swear, like, you know. Prison TikToks are great. 
do you know that okay this is really niche but maybe you know it did you see that one prison tiktok of that guy was like a, i'm getting freed in in three days or i'm escaping in three days or something and uh, it got like it got like 10 million views or something and um the next video he posted he was out of prison do you think me john a and harry as a as a as a trio could break out of prison do you think we have the the intellectual fortitude harry maybe out of me harry and john a you're taking harry as the one who can escape prison He's built? Dude, having muscles won't help you dig a- get out of the fucking prison. Okay, dig a tunnel maybe, but... He can break the bars. Yeah, Harry's just gonna go like that. I think he would kill a man to escape. I was having this conversation with Harry. Do you guys gen do you guys think that there is an amount of money, uh, amount a certain amount of money that you can be given to kill someone, but you don't like press a button. Like you have to kill them yourself with your hands. Do you think there's like a, a monetary amount that someone could give you for you to be like, yeah, I can kill someone now. I don't think I could morally deal with it. Yeah, no, me either. It would like really fuck with me. Like, um, dude, I spent uh, 40 days and 40 nights crying in my bed when I when I called Tubbo Toby for the first time, and I thought he fucking hated me. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't fucking, I couldn't go one day having killed someone. I'd fucking kill myself. Thank you for the tier one. If it was an 80 year old, no, no, I wouldn't kill them. <laughs> I felt bad after calling Scott Post an editor yesterday, earlier. Dude, m -Shrooms, how can you feel guilt for, for Scott? But like you sometimes on Twitter, like you will just like a randomly tweet and you'll like drag me through the mud for having like done nothing, you genuinely. And I'm like, what the fuck did I do? You can do it back? No, I don't. So. I actually maybe should I should I start to panda? Is that is that the next thing I have to do? Do you want me to pander to you guys? They're like really nice. You know what I found out recently? Dude, I swear everyone would like rinse um, Rambo's chat for being really bad or something. Like I, I always remember hearing that. I tapped into Rambo's chat. It's like so fucking good. I don't know why people like take the piss so much. I'm like, what? I was just watching them like two days ago. They have like the most BTV chat I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it used to be shit. I never used to be able to watch Rambo because he streamed at like fucking four in the morning. <coughs> MCC chant. I had an MCC chant. I remember that. I don't remember it, but I remember having one. Chat, were any of you there? Not as a chat if you were there for that uh, day that I played in MCC. I was with um, Ollie, Bill, and Amesy. What a fucking crazy team. Go green geckos. Oh, man. It was a fun little time. 
not watching your POV, if that counts. That's fine. I remember seeing Bill's stream for the first time because of MCC Rising. Dude, the first time I watched Bill's stream, it was because one of my viewers told me to host him, okay? I hosted him. And this was, this was at a time when I was really mean to everyone. Not that I'm really mean, like, all the time. But, like, I was a really nice guy to all of my chatters all of the time. I raid Bill. And mind you, I raided him with three times his view account. And he reads off my viewers. And just, like, just, like, fucking, like, like... Not, like, a, this was, like, peak MCYT when everyone wanted viewers and money, and he would just read them off and be like, You're fucking strange. You're, you fucking weird. You're disgusting. And he lost, like, 80 viewers in, like, one minute. I was like, what is, he, what is even the point of this? And then every day for the next month, he would come into my chat and go, Dude, can you please host me again after today's stream? I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, I didn't host him for months, actually. Chat, you know who followed me yesterday? Um, and I don't really know who they are. Uh, well, I kind of do. But they, but they, I think they followed me by mistake. Um, do you guys know, uh, I'm not going to mess up this name, so I'm going to pull it up, hold on. Do you guys know the the, the sim streamer? Um, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Do you know this person? They're like the number one sim streamer, I think. Um, they followed me on my alt, and I and I'm I'm like, this has to be a mistake because. My most recent old old tweet is <laughs> was this. <laughs> like this is not a. <laughs> you did not mean to follow me. That you accidentally clicked it while scrolling through my tweets. Yeah, they're like the number one uh, sim streamer, and they're meant to be pretty awesome. And I'm like, that's that's cool. That's cool source, you know. Jeremy Poo. I I love guys. Wait, hold on. Complete the move. It's on my alt. I just I just can't do. I can't I can't break my alt integrity. Fucking. And it's like my favorite thing is to scroll through my famous followers on my alt, and it's like, Tommy it follows you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, man. All these little fans. Um, hold on. Uh, have you ever seen this clip of Germa being wine drunk? I saw this for like the for like the tenth time. But he but he talks really gay in this clip. And I sat there for a little while and I was like I was like I don't know I don't know if he's like Frank Moore. Somebody's been that person. Hold on. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed on red wine. <laughs> Jeremy? <laughs> Why is he turning his camera? You didn't go off camera. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He talks like Prezzo when he's drunk. Which, by the way, I found out I've never watched Prezzo when he's not drunk. He's always drunk when he's streaming, apparently. Go to sleep. I don't I don't have to go to sleep. I'm an adult. <laughs> I love him. Okay. Do any of you like wine? Is it even good?
like, I never really... Well, I don't drink, but I never got the appeal. Every stream, I feel like your eyes look a different color. They're like blue. Oh, for, f for fuck's sake, sir! Oh, that was your fault. Whoever the fuck typed that, that was actually your fault, sir. Thank you for the gift of sub. Um. This shit will never focus. Oh. Uh, they're like, they're like blue. Sometimes. See? Yo. Oh shit, my camera's really tilted. Oh? <coughs> okay. It's you guys! Yippee! With your desk, I wonder how long it will take for your camera to start sliding. You know, I actually um, set my camera completely uh, straight today. And um, it's like off tilt. Like, it's it's very, very slightly like that. Like, in real life, the, the tripod is like that a little bit. So, uh, it is fun. My desk is... No, Maxi G's, your desk will never push inwards and cave in. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, now it's fucking fucked. Please get a new one. Do you, do you got would you guys watch a stream where I built a desk? Yeah. But surely it wouldn't take that long to build a desk. Also, is it really the appeal of the viewer? Like, if I made my title, building a desk on stream, do you really think that the random tubbo viewers that follow me would be like, yeah, this is the stream I'm gonna watch. <coughs> do it without instructions. M shrooms. <laughs> this desk has three parts. <laughs> Make John A build it, 24 hour challenge. Oh my God. I remember when John A moved into his room. You know what I learned about John A? He doesn't understand, um, you know, like stuff that's level. Like when, when stuff is like, like a, on, on like a, you look at it and it's on a flat plane, you know? Like, I'm sure you know what that means. It's like even, like it's a, uh, you know, your paintings are not crooked and stuff. Uh, because they're level, right? Dude, I joined the call with John A, and I found out that he doesn't know how to fix that. So his camera, he, he turned on his camera, and it was like this. And I'd be like, John A, like, what are you doing? And like, the shelves in his bat in the backdrop would be like that. And he was like, I just don't understand. Like, my, sh my stream looks really bad today, Max. I don't know how to fix my camera. <laughs> He's bent. Don't say that about John A. Don't say that. John A. John A. Straight as a ruler. But I know, it's just crazy. <coughs> a flexible ruler. Okay. 
I'm sorry. I couldn't have been the only one that, like, for their purpose, I really fucking hated those things. Like, they would never... They would never draw a straight fucking line because I spent so long going like that backwards and forwards that it would be like the the ruler would be like this And so it would never draw it. Anyway, I couldn't use it <coughs> The foldable ones outsold dude they did until I was in year 10 and I started flicking a foldable ruler at my friend who was sitting next to me in maths. Come to find out, from the ages of 5 until 12, he he grew up in an army camp. And he went, what the fuck are you doing? And he grabbed my arm and he fucking hit me once. And I had a bruise the size of my shoulder on my arm for a week. And I was like, what the fuck did you do? He was like, don't hit me with your ruler. <laughs> um... And then, and then every time that I wouldn't help him with a maths question, he'd be like, do you want another bruise on your fucking arm? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. So I was just fucking sit, sit there and like help him in the middle of the lesson. Deserved? I didn't deserve it. Guys, have you ever been in a physical altercation? Like, you and someone else have, like, plans to fight, and, like, fucking, you gone at them and, like, fucking socked them in the face? <coughs> because I've, I've never done that, by the way. <laughs> Just thought i you know. I think I got, from what I remember, the only time, I think I've been asked to fight someone before, um, outside the school library, um, but I got scared, and so I ran away and took the bus, I think, out of all places, that was like where shit went down in my school when I was younger, by the way, sorry, I just realised that I, I, I misclicked my, my stream deck and it started playing the John A thing in the background. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it, the, 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 look, the John A button is, is this one, and the one for this scene is this one, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I just misclick. I have a surgery tomorrow and I'm scared. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Chat. I feel like I'm just asking you questions today. Not as in chat. Have you had surgery? Not stitches. Stitches don't count. Have you ever had like, they fucking like rip your arms apart and like go in there with a saw or whatever the fuck? select to me dude those scared me so badly because my my parents said that i'd always have to get one garrett thank you for the five holy shit just wanted to say hello hi look at that founder's badge 25 months up that's fucking crazy they thought i had appendicitis they thought I had meningitis when I came to the UK and they said that I would have to get um, 30 spinal injections to to test if I had meningitis and I told them, I told the doctor to this face that I said that I'd rather die than have 30 spinal injections and um, turns out I actually only had the cold. Thank you for your stuff, man. Thirty, yeah, because they do that thing uh, where they like have to test your vertebrae or something. What is meningitis? It like kills you in three days or some insane shit. Do you hate needles? Yeah, but surprisingly, okay. 
can you guys relate? Getting all the COVID vaccines made me a lot less scared of needles. Like, I was petrified of them. Like, I would, I would vomit every time that I'd get an injection. And then... I, 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 you know, a guy like me, I love being safe. I went back to back to back with COVID vaccines. And on the last one, I was like, this is okay. Kavenza, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Oh. oh I forgot to stop post school today. <coughs> I used to pass out getting shots. <laughs> Your music's a little loud. Oh, sorry, my desktop audio. Ah, my mic's really quiet. I turned the sound. No. Oh, I don't remember. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to scream. In oh, wait, I can do. This. Okay, my mic's back to a normal level. I used to run away from getting shot. I think in, um, wait, chat, is a pediatrician the thing, the, the doctor for children? Is that the right word? When I went to the pediatrician in Milan when I was, like, four years old, they had to, like, they had to, like, get a doctor to, like, hold me down. <laughs> like, a. Uh, like, 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 pin my limbs down so they could give me, like, one of the vital shots. Because I would, like, I would, like, do anything to, like, not get it. That's traumatizing. No, it was worth it. Like, I didn't die, so it was worth it. They just distracted me with candy. Oh my god, now I'm having like flash memories of times when I've had vaccines. I, dude, I once went to, I got pulled out of um, geography in the, uh, in year five to get like a, like an important vaccine or something. And I went to the, I went to the, the, um, okay, what the fuck do you call this? The comune? Uh, the, the the town hall is that the, is the, isn't that like a clash of clans thing is that the right word like the like the the city building what the fuck is it called <laughs> is that a real thing I went to the town hall <laughs> sorry that's fucking crazy though that's what it is um and um and they were like, yeah, we're going to refer you to this hospital for your vaccine. I got there. And it was like a fucking, it was like a found footage scene. Like, there was a room, the waiting room for children. And it had like random, like, like, you know, like the, the fluffy, like jigsaw puzzles that you can make on the floor. And like random ones of those. And like the, the yellowish painted walls that they have in the back rooms videos. And like, I went into this fucking like scary like disgusting doctor surgery and um and like and i and i like i almost passed out after getting my shot and i don't remember fucking anything after it like it was so fucking scary it's not called a town hall it's called a morgue wait i don't think that's the right word isn't that where they fucking die a morgue is a place where you store human corpses. Yeah, no, that's right. No, it was a... <laughs> it was a town hall. Ah! Oh my god! I just looked up town hall on Google and it was my fucking address. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Slowy, thank you for the nine months. Hi, Slowy. Wait, Ali, are you still in chat? 
Comune is the right word for a town hall, right? I swear that's the right word. Yes. Guys, can we get some fucking tricks to chat? I've had three Italian lessons in the six years I've lived in the UK, and I still remember niche words like town hall. I know, I know. It's like city management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, chat, do you want to know an honest thing about me? I get really scared that one day I'm going to wake up and completely forget how to speak Italian. Because you know how languages are like something that you retain by continuing to do them? I don't, I don't practice my Italian very much. But then, one day I realized that I'm pretty sure, deep down... Like, my internal voice is still Italian. Because every time that I get angry, I think in Italian. And that's, like, the that's like the thing that you do when, you're, when you have, like, a mother tongue that isn't... Well, when you have a different mother tongue. Because I was on the bus today, and this little year eight cut in front of me. <laughs> and to, like, tap his oyster car on the bus. And I literally... I knew he wouldn't understand me. I went, testa di cazzo. And, uh, um, perché mi tagli in coda, which means, you fucking dickhead, why are you cutting me in the queue? <laughs> um, and thank fucking God, he didn't understand shit that I said to him. But, like, <laughs> I realized that every time I get angry, I speak in Italian. This is more logical. That makes sense. Italian is a beautiful language. I just said, dickhead, why did you cut me in the queue? And you said that. It is a, it's a, it's an incredible language. I love it. Still sounded cool. Guys, thank you. That one's for you. Hero, 19? Jesus, fuck. Welcome back. How many languages do you speak? I speak two, but like low-key three, because I speak Spanish. And like, I can understand it, but when it gets fast, I really don't get it anymore. A lot of OGs in chat today. Guys, would you would you um, sub to me for like 20 months? Do you think you'll be here for your 20 month sub? Yeah, why not? Ah. <laughs> you guys. I take Spanish GCSE. I regret it. It's the most difficult thing ever. I should have chosen art. I promise you, with every fiber of my being, that art GCSE is the is the worst GCSE ever you can take if you want to take an easy GCSE. It is like... I've never seen a, a, a sane art student uh, at GCSE. They all are like... Are like... Constantly, like... Having like a stress and panic attacks about their fucking um, art and like how it's meant to be like perfect. I went crazy from my graphics GCSE. Wait, not in chat. If you take, if you took an art willingly, chat. I remember I asked this question, but I want to know again. Have you willingly taken an art? Guys, could you argue that me and what me and Johnny do 
on the streamer's art. <laughs> It's more than art. It's larger than life. Me and John A. Me and me and John A are symbols of romance. <laughs> love is love. Dude chat. I'm I'm fucking I'm okay. Do you want to hear my my newest worry, do do this is the, this is my newest problem that I'm that I'm I, I fear that I'm gonna face. My business teacher was like Max. You did really well in your business GCSE. Will you stand in front of a class of Year Eleven GCSE students and like speak to them about the exams and stuff? And I was like. Sure, I'll do it. Now I've realized this is like the worst decision I've ever fucking made. Like, year 11s are like prime students to be like, to like know who the fuck Tommy in it is. And I've seen that fucking bastard video of me with 2 million views on his fucking channel. It, it, it Jamie, like, it like, it like, it like haunts me, that video. And she was like, yeah, they're really nice. Like, if you would just speak to them. Uh, but I'm kind of scared. Like, I've never really done public speaking like that. Do you think I'd be good? Do you think, um... Not be too nervous to ask you anything about it? Just treat it like you're streaming? No, that's the problem. But when I stream... Do you still mental that year 11? That fucking... That little fucking rat! Year 11! Oh my god. Wait, the sixth form coordinator might see this clip and pull me into a meeting again. That little... I went six fucking weeks to my mentoring appointments in on Monday in form time. I went to the fucking... I went there to, to make sure that I could mentor him. And he didn't show up any of the fucking days. And then the one day the one day he was meant to come in, he, he got fucking sick. And then the next week he skipped the final one. I never mentored him. I did six weeks of mentoring. I did the mentoring practice session for an hour after school. And I never ever mentored them. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm I'm a little I'm a little angry. <coughs> Don't slam your desk. Dude, I I had a fucking sudden rush of like um of uh of like adrenaline because I thought that was the time that it would snap because it went a little it went a little further than um than it usually does. Dude, holy shit, that really fucking scared me. I can't wait for it to snap. Surely it will never snap. Surely. Your camera's wonky now. There you go. This is how I'm gonna stream from now on. You guys think it's cute? Okay, I'm sorry. It's actually making me really nauseous seeing that in my viewfinder. So I'm gonna change it back. I'm sorry. Silver the pendejo. Doesn't that mean dickhead? I think I said that in a Spanish lesson once, and my teacher told me off. Uh. Yo. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> no two boys that were calling that 
uh, to Trevor in my class. Oh my god, this is niche, but have you ever done the GCSE languages topic for drugs? Dude, I've never seen a year 10 class be so excited to learn anything in my fucking life. They, they loved that fucking Spanish topic about cocaine. Oh my god. Hello, Scott. Thank you for the year. I passed it. Okay, go. PSHC is so good. PSHC makes me want to put nails through my eyes. I would- I have to do PSHC as a year 12 for some fucking reason. And now, because I'm in year 12, I have to do the cumulative- we- we have to do the cumulative ones for the whole school because it's the start of the year. So I'm watching year 7 PSHC on Google fucking- on the- uh, on the- on Google Meet, where they're teaching the fucking year 7s about how to line up outside of classrooms and the- the, the fucking, the uniform policy. And I've heard this 16 years in a row. I don't give a fuck, but they make me sit there at eight in the morning to listen to what they do. <laughs> it's fine. Love them. Love, love, love. What's PSG? It's like... It's like, um, like, like society. <laughs> I don't know if I'm live. Uh, uh, I just fucked up my guy's laugh. He stopped moving. Wait, am I live? Um, can you hear me? <laughs> Did it snap? Yeah, the desk snapped. What the fuck? Dude, I slammed my desk and usually the USB thing that you hear is my, um, is my keyboard because my keyboard's broke, like, like the cables are kind of fucked up because I've had it for like four years. Um, but I knew it was bad because I turned around and my fucking stream deck went completely black and my my mic started playing through my ears, which is what it does when it resets its profile. It's the final warning. Do you think if I tried hard enough, I could punch through the desk? It would be a good bit. That's what I'm saying. It would actually be good. <laughs> Please do it. No, I'm not doing it. Think of the clip channels. They won't care. It doesn't. I don't have Dream SMP members on my stream right now. If it was a um, Tubbo stands behind me as I slam my desk and break it, then it actually would get like 500,000 views, you know? Buy a new desk without telling anyone, then do that and replace it instantly. I could. <coughs> Will anyone give me like a lump sum of money to, 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 to buy a new desk? Desk fund. I don't think they're that expensive. Um, what, how much would I need? Like 390? Someone's got to be in chat. Some, some, your dad's buying it? Dude, he, he does not remember that shit. <laughs> I haven't gone, are we going to buy that desk? So he does not care. <laughs> it's actually bad. Like, the desk is actually bad. Thank you for the gift. Of Thank you. <laughs> this desk is so bad. It's so 
Do you want to see the crazy part about it? Is this. That's the... This is the insane part. That I, you can just pull out the front thing of it. Um... <laughs> Uh, that's why I get scared that it's gonna break. Oh. It's normal for an old desk to do that. Yeah, I've had this desk for like five years. It's like when you cut school tables with rulers. Did you guys have that? Where people would, um, people would, um, Cut chairs with pieces of string? Is that like a universal thing? With the face masks! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Scratching them with compasses? Oh my god! Compasses got banned in my school! And scissors! Are you for real? Yeah, because, um... We used to do that. We used to have to ask the teacher. I was in year 11 doing the fucking bearings unit in maths where you need the compass. And, um... And, um... You'd have to ask the teacher for a compass. And she'd pick up the fucking... The, the compass box that was locked behind the lock and key. And give them out to each person. And if you didn't have all the compasses back by the end of the lesson, you weren't allowed to leave. <laughs> um, yeah, it was because some fucking year, right? Like, uh, jabbed his friend in the shoulder. And, like, a teacher saw him with, like, a... With, like, a... With, like, a... With, like, a, with, like, a, like, a little circle of blood on his, um... On his, on his shirt, and they were like, we're banning all compasses forever. Which was fun. I don't even, I'm not even allowed a, I don't even think I'm allowed a pair of scissors in sixth form. Our British schools have some weird rules. Dude, do you want to know? Guys, if you ever, want, ever wondered if I'm if I'm the kind of person that fights against the 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 the, the organization, you know, you know, I'm a I'm uh, I'm anti-government. I I the start of the year was wearing a button-up shirt with my top button undone and you could so you could see the pearl necklace through it, right? Um, I'm sure you remember, like, I posted a few, uh, little pictures of that one time. And the head of sixth form walked past me. The one who pulled me in a meeting because I called, because, uh, uh, because I was going to TwitchCon and I was talking about the Dream SMP or something. Um, she goes, she sees me on the she goes, I love your necklace, Max. The outfit looks really good. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And I was like, "Oh, You know? Two weeks later, she pulls me uh, to the side and goes, Have you not heard that um, you, get a, you get a detention every time that you're not caught with a tie, Max? And I was wearing the same little outfit without the top button. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You're actually, like, pranking me. Like, uh, you told me that you liked my necklace, like, two weeks ago. And I was like, okay, whatever. But in the rules, it said that, um, six formers can wear jumpers to school as long as they don't have a flashy design. I was like, sorted. How are they going to tell me to put on a tie if I have a fucking jumper on it? I wore a jumper, and the, the head of sixth form came up to me. You're not wearing a tie today, Max. I was like, okay. So I was like, fine, I'll be a drone. I went to school the next day with a fucking, with a blazer on, a, a jumper, like a, like, one, like a school jumper, a fucking tie done up to like here, and a fucking collared shirt. And, and I, and I wore shined fucking shoes, and I walked in, and I looked, I looked like I was out of a fucking, uh, Netflix show, 
And um, and I was like, I've had fucking enough. Okay, so I wore it for one day. And then they changed the uniform policy again. And they said that you only have to wear a tie if you have a collar. And I was like, fuck you. And so for the last three months, no matter the weather, no matter what jumper I have in my house, no matter if I've been given the greatest selection of collared shirts ever, I wear a, a, a one colored jumper every single fucking day. I've worn jumpers where teachers ask me if I'm wearing a t-shirt. I wore, I wore, I, I've worn this fucking jumper. I wore it to school literally today. Uh, where is it? Oh, this is a, this is not a jumper. Oh, here it is. Uh, I wore this jumper to school for the last, like, I've worn this so many times. This jumper is, like, borderline, like, something that you wear to sleep. Like, this is not a, this is not, like, even close to the same thickness as my t-shirt. And I wear it in, like, minus four degrees. Just because sometimes I wake up and I really want to spite my teachers. I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not wearing that fucking button-up shirt. It's not even the tie, but if you wear a tie, you have to have your top button done up. And can I, am I the only one, can you agree on this? Having your your top button done up, it's, maybe my shirts aren't fit right, but it's like, it like feels awful on, on like a, on like your throat. Like it feels like, it feels like I'm fucking getting suffocated. Um, so I, I'm like, I'm never wearing this shit. It feels claustrophobic, exactly. <coughs> Max for Prime Minister? No, I couldn't be a Prime Minister. I couldn't do it, you know? It's just like... It's just... It's just too much work for me. Like, I'd rather, like, sit around and, like... Like, like fake kiss John A on stream during, like, an IRL stream like I did last time, you know? I couldn't be a prime minister because I have to wear a tie. Exactly. A teacher told my friend to unroll her skirt because it distracts the boys and I go to an all-girl school. <laughs> Dude, she she actually fucking ate you up. But I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I don't want to say anything, but don't you think that thing where people say, roll down your skirt... Like, just saying, roll down your skirt. Don't you think that's, like, a inherently, like, a really strange comment to make as, like, a teacher? Like, I think that's a, I think that's a very strange thing to say. Like, that's, that's, that's strange. That's, that's not a normal thing to say. Like, I only get it if it's like, um, <laughs> hold on, if it's like this, Jesus, this, this is actually the worst picture of me ever. If it's like this fucking picture of me with shorts on, where like these, these shits, like my knees were like, were like here. Like I was basically wearing booty shorts on that fucking stream. Um, like, like, like if you can really tell, but like sometimes they're like so precise, they're like, it's slightly above your knee. You have to roll it down. Like, who the fuck cares, you know? Like, allow it. <coughs> I remember that stream. I think, um, maybe I should do a 24-hour stream. Uh, like, uh, during this half term, like the one coming up, maybe. Yeah, maybe again. Not the 14th to 17th. Okay! I'm happy the, the M Shrooms militia has decided, dictated what days I can and can't go live again. I'm really happy about that. 
I need, I'm gonna fucking start just modding random people in my chat one day, so like I can, I can stream freely. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to fucking Adrena Pog. Adrena Pog will never fucking argue about it. Dude, one of your three mods will be in my house that day. Those days. Okay, Emshrooms, now I don't wanna be disrespectful, but why does that mean that my whole staff team has to go on strike? The, what the fuck are you doing? Zoom calling each other whilst the two of you are in the same room? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> My teacher's going on strike. I got set a fucking mock on the 1st of February and my teacher's going on strike. So I just don't have to do it. Which also, shout out, shout out unions. Max G says yes to... To the to, to to socialism, you know. Max G is he's he's a leftist. <laughs> I'll say it. Get your vaccine and shout out poor people, you know. Max G's watches Hassan Arby. I'm disgraced for the fact that sometimes I learn about world news because of um, because of Hassan videos that I get recommended on YouTube. <laughs> like sometimes I'm like completely out of it. Like I didn't know that Andrew Tate went to prison. I woke up one morning, there's a Hassan Arby video with 800,000 views about him going to prison. And I was like, suddenly I know everything about this topic. You didn't know that. Well, the news broke like whilst like uh, I was asleep or something. Where'd you get your jumper? It's Snifferish merch, the streamer. My parents knew. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like everyone knew about it, but like I only, I like only found out when I woke up and checked it. We had to analyze the articles. Oh my God. Did I, did I ever fucking tell you that my whole sixth form, uh, like, like half of my sixth form got fucking, um, 60 minute detentions on a Friday once because someone decided that they thought that, um, making some Andrew Tate joke was funny, but they couldn't find out who it was. So they fucking, they like, uh, they like, uh, they like put us all at the stake and decided that we all deserve to be punished for it. And I was like, okay, whatever. They made me analyze six pages of articles about Andrew Tate and why he's misogynistic. I was like, I know why. I wrote a fucking analytical essay about the articles. I gave it in. I know she threw it away. She didn't even give a fuck, man. She, didn't, she knew I didn't do anything. Yet. I could have gone home and streamed. Let I me mean, do thank you for the three months. It was great because everyone else was like sitting there like grunting, like going, ugh, and like, uh, and like highlighting random things. And I was there and this is the first time that I've got a little cutesy with my, uh, I've, I've like romanticized my school life. I own the, um, the, the, the basic set of uh, pastel highlighters. So I was going around, everything that I didn't like, I'd highlight in, in red. And uh, every time that I thought something was good, I'd highlight it in green. And all the all the things that I that I really liked, I'd highlight in blue, because blue's my favorite color. I used to use those all the time. Dude, the fucking Andrew Tate article mentioned Hassan in it. It goes to like a political commentator, Hassan Arbi. Um, had a lot of uh, views about uh, the Andrew Tate situation. And I was like, this is a crazy thing because Hassan Arbi is he's he streamed with Carl Jacobs, and I'm like, I know Carl. Like, this is like, and I'm reading his name in school. I was one of the color coding kids. Oh no, I wasn't. Color coding is too much work for me. 
But sometimes when I chat, do you want to know the the world's greatest um thing? If you ever don't do enough homework, bring out a set of highlighters and highlight random things on the piece of paper. It looks like you've done more work. I'm serious. I don't I don't know how it works. But suddenly, if you highlight things, it seems like you put more effort into it. Like if you ever make a mind map, make the little thing with um with a uh, with 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 the um, with a with a nice blue highlighter, everything will be good. I think my uni lecture this morning, dude. I tried to do that because I was copying someone's homework in um in uh at break time before a geography lesson, right? Last year, and um I fucking found out. These teachers have WhatsApp groups where they, like, snake on students to get them detentions. The fucking, like, head of maths walks in and goes, Why are you, um, why, why are you copying homework? You're meant to be a really good student that's meant to be coming to our sixth form. And I was like, I don't have time. I need to copy the homework. She goes, okay. Pulls out the phone. Bang, 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 bang. I walk up to geography. Me and my friend get kept off to class. We have to do three essays uh, for the next lesson, which was the next day. Because because it's um, it's not academic to copy of each other. We fucking carried our class on our shoulders. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've had a lot of... Um, Silly little, uh, uh, stories from school. Shit just happens to me. Like, I, like, it actually just does. Dude, you know, okay. Do you want to know a story about, um, so, do you guys have this thing where, like, the receptionist at your school... Uh, or, like, the person in reception, like, when you're late, they give you, like, a really dirty look if you've been late, like, a few times. Like, uh, like, like, every time that I'm late for school, I get this, I get this horrid look every time that I walk into the school gate. And they're, like, late again, Max. And every time it's my full name, every single time. And I'm, like, okay, dude, once my fam, me, Jude, and Violet, we, all three of us were late to school because... And I'm not fucking joking. We got into a traffic, uh, like, um, jam. And that was the real reason we were late. But, uh, but a 16-wheeler, like, bumped the back of our car. And I walked into school. She goes, so, why are you late? And I went, I was up the road, and I named the road that we were at. And I go, we got in a fucking car accident in the middle of a traffic jam. And I had to get out the car because he was, my dad was giving his insurance information. And she goes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. For the rest of the year, I would walk into those gates. She never mentioned shit. I didn't even get into a car accident. The car scraped me. She disconnected. She actually did. You know what the... You know what I found out? Um, dude, I found out... So my form time that I have to do ends at 9 in the morning, right? I've realized if I'm... You are the same amount of late, whether you're late 5 minutes or 25 minutes. So I just walk in. If I'm over 15 minutes late to school, I'm like... I'm just gonna stand outside the gate until form time's over, so I don't have to do the walk of shame into the lesson. <laughs> so I walk in one minute before the school day starts, sign into school, go to the bathroom, check my phone, and then walk upstairs to my period one lesson every single time. <laughs> oh my god. God, you know what I never told you? Once... I was, me and Jude were the reason that um that the, the GCSE started late. Like we were the we were the late person for the people for the exam, which is like completely wrong. Like you're not meant to be late to exams. That's like the whole thing.
Me and Ju- They were trying to get us into school at 8 in the fucking morning for a fucking computer science exam. Fuck no, I was not making that. I made it at a modest 8.18. By that time, I'm- I'm fucking serious. By that- by 8.18, which- the exams, they technically didn't even leave until 8.20. By 8.18, they'd called my mum, my dad, and asked three of my schoolmates to call my phone. They asked the head of year, asked someone in my year for my phone number, and she called me on the bus. And she was like, where are you? I was like, I'm a stop away from this fucking institution. Leave me alone. <laughs> Like, they're crazy. Like, they're, they actually just dox you if you don't make it into the exam. I once had a teacher. Um, I found out that if you don't make it to an exam, they are allowed to come... Like, in my school, in the contract, it says that they're allowed to come and pick you up from school to, um, to, to, to make you sit the exam. Like, come and pick you up from your house. My, my head of year last year threatened someone in my year to go to their house and wake them up with her hands from their bed to make them sit a maths exam if they didn't come in. Because you're just like, they're allowed to do that or some shit. <coughs> it was kind of fun. I don't think they would do it though, but maybe. What kind of school do you go to? Like a, like a pretty normal school, actually. Oh my god! Do you want to know another fucking story? This week, Violet and how the fuck do you do this? Violet lost her phone on the bus. How the fuck do you lose your phone? How the fuck does that even make sense? We are Gen Z. The whole point of the phone is that you, <laughs> you don't take it out of your hand. I was like, okay. Whatever. I get a text from my mum. I'm in a free period. This is three days ago, by the way. Three days ago. On Monday. I get a text from my mum that says... Find my iPhone says Violet's phone is one stop away from your school on the bus. Can you leave the school to go and pick it up? How? I don't know. I'm not allowed to leave my fucking school premises till it's 3 p.m. unless my whole family's fucking dying. I'm like, mum, they won't let me out of this gate unless there's a fucking killer chasing me. She goes, can you just try, please? It's a nice phone. I was like, okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll be a hero and I'll go and try. I'm walking downstairs trying to read a text from my mum about trying to find this phone. You're not meant to have your phone in the corridor. You never fucking guess who I walk into. The fucking head teacher. He goes, whoa, you almost walked into me. He crossed over to me to make sure that it, he framed me to make it look like I was walking into him. I knew that I wasn't walking into him. I fucking knew that. I was like, okay. And I, and I looked up and I went, I'm really sorry. And then I went to check reception. No one's in reception. So I can't leave the school to go and pick up this phone. I text my mom. I go, I'm really sorry, but they won't let me leave, mom. She goes, that's fine. Dude, five minutes later, she goes, Oh my fucking god, Max. And now someone's stolen the fucking phone because why is it moving off the bus route? I was like, how? How is that my fault? How is that my fault? I'm not allowed to leave the school building because it's berated like a fucking high security prison and suddenly it's my fault that the fucking the, the, the phone's growing legs and starts fucking running. Did you get it back? No. No, no, I haven't. And then Violet, I thought Violet was never going to make it home. I was like, I don't even know where Violet is. But I left, I left to go home or whatever. I take the train, make it to a bus stop that I had to get to. And I took the bus. Dude, in spawns in Violet. Some fucking how. I don't even know how she made it to the bus stop. Because... Like, what the fuck are you even doing? She she spawns into this random bus stop that, like, you're not even meant to get to unless you walk like a like a pilgrimage across the city. And I'm like, okay. Violet's, like, there. 
And I'm like, the only thing I know how to do is mock things. We're waiting for the bus. And Violet goes, Max, did you hear that I, I lost my phone? And I went, Violet, let's play Guess Who. What am I? And I said, imagine that you're the phone. And I, and I went, I'm you. And I fucking sprinted across the road. And I was like, you've lost me. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I fucking mocked it so badly. And Violet was like, stop. Like, it's not even funny. And I, and I grabbed Violet. I was like, how do you even lose a fucking phone? How does that even make sense? She goes, well, I tried to put it in my, my coat pocket, but I found out that I actually just rested it on my coat. So when I stood up, it fell to the floor, but I didn't realize because I was talking to someone. Like, oh, fucking K. Like, how does that even happen? Me? I don't even... I don't know if you guys do this. Do you do this thing where, like, you don't leave a place until, like, you've, like, checked that, like, you have your phone and your keys? That's what I do every time. If I don't have my phone and my keys, there's something very inherently wrong with me leaving a place. I noticed my pocket wasn't heavy enough. Do you want to know the only time... You know what? Okay, so I've only ever lost one phone. I lost it in the most BM way fucking ever. No other way could I lose this phone unless these coincidental things happen at the same time. Chance of losing your phone in a day? I reckon one in 1,000 days you lose your phone. Uh, if you're safe like I am. Chances that it snows in the UK. I've lived here for two thousand days i've had seven snow days so just uh, just under one in 300 so one in 300 lines up with one in 1000 i'm walking out of school and i drop my phone out of my pocket and the snow cushions the noise of the fall okay so i don't fucking hear it i don't hear it drop to the floor i make it one fucking stop on the bus and I'm like, oh shit, 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 shit. I've lost my phone. I get off the bus. I bolt it 10 minutes down the road to make it back to school. I become a human fucking metal detector. I start walking up and down the road that's next to my, my school on the grass. I'm like looking for my fucking phone. I knew exactly where I dropped it. I made fucking snow angels to try and find the phone. It was not there. I lost the phone. You know, random fucking snow spot outside of my school. How the fuck does that even How do I lose a phone on the only day of the year that it fucking snows? Did you ever find it? No. It, was, it like vanished. And the next day the snow melted and it wasn't there. Reception probably had it. No, reception didn't have it. But reception did have my phone fucking once. When I swear to fucking god, the head teacher turned on fucking wool hacks because I was sitting on the other side of the physics room, barely on my phone, and he fucking head snap wool hacks down the corridor, sprints down the corridor, opens the door, goes, I know you're on your phone, you bastard child. Okay, he didn't say that. <laughs> he goes, I know you're on your th on that fucking phone. Okay, and he goes. He goes, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't show me. And I'm like, okay. And I grab my phone. I was like, okay, I was on my phone. And he goes, thank you. And he takes it. And he takes it to the reception. They keep my my phone captive. Okay. They starved my phone. Gave it no, no attention, no battery for for three days. They kept my phone in solitary confinement in a reception drawer by a lock and key for three days because my parents wouldn't come to school to pick it up. <laughs> it wasn't my fucking fault that the guy had CSGO wall hacks where it, it, where it made a fucking it made a th sorry I'm very riled up about a topic it's not my fucking fault that they, he had a fucking wall hack program that created that created boxes that, that, that made hit boxes for technological devices which are outside of your pockets okay but he I never received a worse fucking punishment in my life than have to go three days without using my phone I could even tweet that I was going live <laughs> Because I couldn't log into my account because I didn't have my phone. <laughs> Do 
dude, the teacher took my phone once and I cried because I was texting my girlfriend from Australia. M Troops, is it the one that you asked out on Twitter? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man. No, I haven't lost my phone. I was um, mocking Violet. I know that's wrong, but... She didn't reply. <coughs> you didn't reply? My mum. She asked me if I lost my phone. My friend got a phone confiscated trying to watch Frozen. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Dude, once I had a fucking CSI investigation moment from a random substitute teacher in, in the middle of science. I was on my phone and she starts questioning me. Oh, are you on your phone, Max? I was like, no. Fucking Matrix. I I pull up the, the pause time button. It, it fucking, it like, a, it, it appears in front of me. I go... Bang! I I stop the time and I slowly grab into my bag and grabs and I grab my book out of my bag. Whilst I'm grabbing my book, I I go like that. Hips don't lie. The for, the phone falls into my bag. I zip it up and I go, "What? I'm not on my phone." She goes, "Yeah, stand up then and empty your pockets." I was like, "Okay." I stood up. I empty my pockets. I went, "Miss, my phone's in my bag." Pick up the bag, open it up. I go. I pull out the fucking phone like it's a like it's a Zelda fucking cutscene. I'm like, but the phone's in here. She goes, oh, my mistake. I'm sorry. I spent the every person knew that I was on my phone because I spent every science lesson on my fucking phone. They turned around. They all gave me the dirtiest fucking look. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've had a few, I've had a few sillies, you know me. I feel like I just have loads of stories about my phone getting confiscated. That's like I used to hide my calculator under the table to get a teacher to call out call me out and prove them wrong. You are such like a fucking fun. <laughs> Dude, if I if I was a teacher, I'd like just I just throw like a fucking chair at you. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god! About teachers' chairs, I had the fucking most insane interaction yesterday in a maths lesson. My teacher was 15 minutes late to our lesson, which is not normal for her. She's a really good teacher, uh, but she had a meeting or something, and she didn't. She wasn't able to tell us. One of these, one of these kids in my class was like. I'm going to switch out the chair, the teacher's chair, for my, like, a, the plastic chair that we sit on. And so he was sitting on the teacher's chair at the back of the classroom. And the teacher had the plastic chair. She walks in after 15 minutes and goes, Oh, guys, really sorry I'm late. And she looks down. And like you, but, and like, we didn't know that she noticed that she had a plastic chair. Then uh, a French teacher walked in and goes, Can I talk to you for one second, miss? She goes, sure, walks out, the guy from the back of the classroom picks up the chair, the teacher's chair, replaces it, takes his chair back, sits back down, opens his book, writes the title, and makes it seem like everything's normal. Teacher walks in, looks at the chair, turns around, and goes, nice chair change, name, and we will, we lost our fucking shit. Because we thought, <laughs> we were like, oh my god, like, we got, we got away with it. And, like, this teacher is never mean. This is just, like, never, like, never scolds us about anything because we're, we're a good class. Oh my god. I have never seen the dirtiest look come out of her face. Oh my god. Anyways, we got in trouble. Um, because someone sprayed, um, someone sprayed a whiteboard cleaner at someone's head because he stole a calculator. I would message my friends during class to get them in trouble. Dude. I, 
I just have so many fucking stories about me on my phone doing shit. <laughs> <coughs> someone threw a chair. Wait, chat. Not as in chat. If you ever seen someone throw a chair, I've never. That's something I've never seen. Never in my life I've seen someone throw a chair at someone. In like, like pick it up and like that. Never. A teacher threw a stapler at a kid in my class once. <laughs> I remember the fucking week after lockdown um, uh, ended, we came back into school and someone had seen that fucking TikTok where if you if you move a stapler like that, you can shoot it like a gun. Oh my god. Fucking 15 minutes of my lesson, they spent trying to make a fucking stapler into a gun and it didn't work for shit. And they were like, dude, I'm gonna shoot staples across the classroom. My form tutor got angry and slammed the door so hard one of the ceiling panels fell from the roof. Oh my god. Chat. Once I one of my science le one of my science rooms I wasn't in it. We come to find out that um I don't know if you guys know this is like a really random thing but when you install windows they have to be like a like a fixed installation. They can't have pressure onto them, the windows. Uh, because if not, they, they like can crack. Dude, a fucking window in my science room was installed wrong. And there was too much pressure on like the top and the bottom. We came into school. The fucking window was like... It looked like someone had shot a fucking cannonball through it. It was shattered from top to bottom. And it, like, like, had a mesh over it because they had to, like, make sure that no children were touching it. And, like, there was just glass everywhere on the floor. That happened, right, chat? And then there was a skylight in my school. Like, a one random fucking window on the ceiling for some reason. Some fucking, uh, some shit about, like, fires or something. Dude, this was a big fucking window. This window is probably bigger than my ceiling, okay? That one also was the wrong pressure. And it shattered five minutes before the school gates, the school doors opened. Like, like if we were in that fucking hallway, the, the window above us would have shattered and the glass would have just fallen on people. That was fun. <coughs> a boy from my class kicked a bathroom glass door thing and I haven't ever seen him ever since. Wait, hold on, chat. I gotta check something. Give me a moment. I want to see if I can find what I'm looking for. I found it! Dude, one thing that is not very common in my school is graffiti in bathrooms. I don't know if you've ever had this. Um... But it's not like a common thing. The first day of year 12, I walked in to, to school. I walk into a bathroom stool and I'm there pissing, you know, like, like a person does in a bathroom stool. I turn around and I find a graffiti on the wall that says this. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, hey man, thanks. Like, okay, that's that's chill. That's normal. Thanks, man. Uh, but like, it really freaked me out. I was like, what the fuck? 
I think that was that, and then I think someone shopped um, KYS on a wall. Uh, but I think that's it. But like, dude, like fucking school children. Like they're like year eight. That was you. That was not me. I've never graffitied apart from uh, twice. Uh, fire broke out in my school uh, a day after my middle school graduation. Everyone in my secondary class, uh, everyone in my second took classes in the gym. That's fucking crazy, dude. You wanna find out? Chat. You know that school was invented outside. They didn't have um fucking buildings for schools. They would have like, like they would just be outside. If that makes any sense, like they would just like, like they weren't like. Like, they were just desks outside. I don't think that's crazy. Like, even when they were able to make buildings. Like, school started as, like, an outside thing. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Dude... My school has so many fights, it was such a big problem. My school had to separate us from, with, from our, t uh, like, house, houses. I mean, that's the best way to say it. Chat. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Do you want to hear the most insane story ever? Dude, at the end of year 11, we had, and this is literally what we called it, in the playground, we had a war. That is the... That is the that is the correct term that we used, where our year group was split into two sides, and in the playground we would just run at each other and beat the fuck out of each other. <laughs> that was like the whole premise of war, and it went on for it was a three day event, right? And I never got involved, but oh my fucking god. Do you remember that kid that I told you that went to military school and he punched me in the arm for hitting me with a ruler and it bruised me for like three weeks? You remember that? Dude, he not only was strong, but he was fucking fast. And there was this one kid that, that would always get really fucking lippy to all of us for no reason. And he went up to him, he was like, blah, 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 making fun of him, making fun of his name. Dude. He chased him in the middle of the war and like and like six people like uh, like jumped him in the middle of the war Like no one like got seriously hurt or anything, but like this guy this guy this guy was left without a bag Without shoes no tie no pencil case um, No blazer no food going to the, his next fucking lesson Poor sod no 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 he got lippy to me once what the fuck did he try and say? Um, like I, chat, this was at the time when I'd really started learning how to be a little fucking dickhead with, um, with, with comebacks, right? This guy gets onto me randomly in, like, at the end of year 11. And every, all of my friends are sitting around us. And he's like, lashing an insult after another. But none of the insults me. He goes, you sit by yourself on the bus. I don't sit by myself on the bus. I sit with Jude, who's not no one. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense, man. And I go, and he goes, you wear that fucking star ring. What is it? Some fake, some fake designer shit? I was like, no, it's a random ring that I bought. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then I remembered like some fucking, like, um, okay, uh, this sounds wrong, but some like, um, some like shit that like a uh, that like was easy to mock about him, and he, he hits me one more time, and I like ripped into him in front of everyone, and like and he and he was meant to be like the like the like the bad guy, like he was meant to be like like the tough guy, dude. He, I almost broke him into tears over a response when he made fun of my ring that I bought in Brighton, and that's when I realized, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Like, I'm a bad guy. 
But like I wasn't a bad guy because this guy he was making fun of uh, absolutely everything about me You're awful. No, I was like really passive with him, but he would just constantly get on to me I was like, okay, like I'm not getting bullied. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna say something back If you were found outside your designated area, they would give you a hundred minute detention. Fucking my when school when COVID started, they split my year group into a certain area of the playground. But it was so inconvenient because it wasn't next to any, either of the two entrances. We had to walk in like a straight line to make it to our designated COVID bubble. And you'd see the year sevens who were allowed on the grass. The fucking year eights were allowed on like this big flat plane. All we were allowed were a fucking tree and a bench for the whole year group. <coughs> a kid used to pull my hair, so I pulled their hair back. They almost started crying. Chat, that same kid that um, I made fun of him after he made fun of my ring. Dude, once he, like, was really rude to a girl that I was talking to. Um, like, like a, like, like her and I were like a, we were like a fling almost. And he was really rude to her, like right in front of me. And I was like, that's really stupid. <laughs> so I, so I stole his bag and hid it in a bush. And he didn't collect it until the next day. I stole his bag at break time. He went six lessons without a bag in school, like randomly. He could have just gone and found it because it wasn't like I hid it from him so like he could never find it again. He went to school and then someone found out what happened, took one of his shoes and put it on a fucking branch. And he had to play like, like, like he had to play like a parkour course to stand up to a tree to grab his shoe because he was shorter than me. Um, but I never do things unprovoked. I hope you guys know that. I've never, I never, I never, I never, I never pick on people, you know? You're an awful lad. No, I'm actually, like, really not. Like, really not. <laughs> Your life is like a movie. It is. I know, guys. <coughs> um, I wonder what other, what other little silly story times I can tell you. I c I don't remember anything, dude. I've been I've been talking for like an hour. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope it's been content. Oh my god, another fucking thing. Dude, someone tried to organize a heist in my school to try and steal every um, remote for the whiteboards from every teacher. Dude, this guy with like black market, he would open his fucking, his, his, um, his blazer and he would have six remotes to classrooms for maths lessons. And he'd be like, you need to take one because if I get caught, we need one in circulation. And I'd be like, what the fuck? I don't want that. <laughs> um, but then I think we got, I think we got caught because, uh, because they tried to steal the one in the assembly hall so they could change the fucking assembly slides whilst the speaker was talking. Yeah. And someone caught him walking up to the assembly, like the, the thing where they held everything for the assemblies. What type of school do you guys go to? No, I go to a very normal school. I just, I just, um, uh, like I remember a lot of things, you know? British, yeah. But even in, like, Italy, like, I had some really crazy stories. 
Like, um... Dude, like, me... And do you guys remember from the Italy streams my name... My friend Paco? Like, this is really fucking niche if you remember him. Because he was on stream for, like, 15 minutes. So. Um, he was, like, my best friend growing up. Dude, he broke into the sick my my school was a six-story building with a roof that like like you could climb into dude he broke into the sixth story and sat on the roof of the school like one day i walked down in fucking break time and he was like max max i was like where the fuck is that and look paco's dead calling me from the afterlife i look up he's there going from the fucking roof Then we got banned from doing that as well. <laughs> Wait, ew, my chat's broken. Hold on, I need to refresh. Yo. Okay, cool. It's back. Yippee! Do you know what fun snaps are? Yeah. Um, but, like, my year group really didn't like them because our geography teacher, like, for, like, she was really, really nice. And for some reason, she made it, like, very explicit that, like, the only thing she didn't like was fun snaps. And then someone to, like, spite her, which was, like, awful, like, threw one. And she had, like, a really, like, um, like, like, anxious, like, reaction about it. And, like, uh, so we, we never fucking did that again. Like, I, it wasn't me. It was some fucking girl trying to spite her for some random reason. But, like, it was really awful. But that same girl, in the middle of geography, crushed up a paracetamol, took out an oyster card, and snorted it in front of me. Like, the paracetamol line. Um, like, crushed it up and, like, uh, lined it up with an oyster card. And did a line on a fucking desk in front of me. So, I mean, obviously, obviously she really didn't care about the geography lesson. Like I did. Works faster? No, exactly. What kind of school is this? Hey, I remind you I've been going to the school for six years, okay? This is like, um, you know, this is like... I have, a, I have a lot of memories. Oh wait, Salty Harry, you're from Korea, right? How school that? I believe that's you. From, from You were from Harry's chat as well. And I think you've mentioned that. Our entire geography block was evacuated at lunch because someone was smoking. Dude, the amount of times... Guys, not in chat that you won't snitch to my head of year when I tell you this. Um, I need to tell you something, but it needs to stay between us. <laughs> Dude, I once walked into a fucking, um, like, the toilets, like, the boys' year 12 toilets... And someone fucking hotboxed it with lychee and blue raz um, jewel. And like I walked in and it was like, it was like walking into a burning building. I was like, <coughs> like trying to fucking make it so I could just go to the bathroom. And the guy was just standing there. I was like, yo. Blue raz. His name... His name was John A. He get he gave it to me as a as a reminder of him. Um, now he's only my pen pal. That's that's the only way I can speak to him. Did you guys ever have a pen pal from like like a like a like a? They tried to give me a pen pal from Spain. Did you ever have like a like foreign pen pals? I have never sent a fucking pen pal in my fucking life. I'm gonna be honest though. Uh-huh. <laughs>
We had ones in France. I still have the letter. Oh. I had one from Spain, and I found that it was my teacher writing to me. Dude. I have so many crazy, like, like just fucking, like, insane teacher stories. Once, my school employed a teacher that, um, like, I went to an international school in Italy, so you had to speak fluent English because you were, you were trying to teach students that didn't speak English to learn English as well. And she didn't speak one word of English, and she tried to teach my class, my, my year six maths class, um, Year 13 maths. Like stuff that I even haven't I haven't even done yet. And um and she would be like, why don't you understand this? And um and she would like scream at us and then like throw a textbook in front of us and be like, learn this! And the only I only learned like a few things. I swear to fucking god, she tried to teach us so far up the syllabus. I went to school in the UK, and the first year, I just started telling my teacher about things that I'd been taught, because um, I didn't sit my SATs, which is like the standardized test to get like a position for your like maths lessons and stuff. I didn't sit those. And so she was like, how, where do you want me to place you? She goes, what have you been learning? I start learning these things. She goes, wow. She pulls me into fucking parents evening. She tells my parents that I'm, that I'm, um, like, overtly gifted at maths, and the, my maths ability should be cherished. I was like, all I did was listen in lesson for five fucking months and learn, th like, two units in five months. They tried, they tried to get me into the gifted program, made me do every fucking- They let- They made me lead the maths Olympiad! Thank you for the six months, welcome back. I did lead the Mass Olympiad, and then I called a girl, I, I said, get out of my way, you obstacle, because for some fucking reason, that, I thought that was acceptable, and, uh, and she's a really good friend of mine now, and, um, and, like, sometimes she, like, bumps into me in the corridor and goes, move, you obstacle, and it's like, dude, oh my god, <laughs> one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done is say that fucking sentence. I remember, yeah, I told you guys about that. The problem with the Maths Olympiad, by the way, is that it was every school from my borough and the, like, the boroughs in the vicinity that had scored, like, each, each student, each team had, like, a team of four. Dude, I went there thinking... I'm really good at maths. I'm gonna do great at this Olympiad. Dude, there was some fucking Russian kid from a school down the road who finished like 36 of like the hardest maths questions that we could be given in like seven minutes. I was like, what the fuck am I meant to do? I answered three questions. There were 50 questions. I went, I went back in the school coach and my teacher laughed at us. He laughed at my team. I was like, this is your team. Like, what are you laughing at? <coughs> and they spelled my name wrong on the certificate. Chad, you know what I never realized? Though? You know, okay, maybe I, I don't, it definitely wasn't just my school where like you get that one random computer science lesson in year seven where they make you sit like a, like a, like a quiz, but it's actually like a masked IQ test. Did you do that? Because like, um, I remember in year seven. Like, they made me sit down and fucking do this test with all my friends. And, like, at the time, I was like, oh, it's just a pattern game. But it was a fucking... It was an IQ test. Like, the, the one that they gave us in that lesson was, like, an IQ test. Like, a, like, like, it was exactly what you get in an IQ test. 
Cat's test? I don't know what that is. I don't remember. I was like, why do you need that information? <coughs> Cat sitting. Oh, I've been sitting. I need to sit up, boy. Someone could have told me. I was slouching. We learn how to type fast, dude. The fucking, I I genuinely think that the uh, the girl that sat next to me, um, let's what let's give her name. Let's say her name was Sarah. I sat next to her in eight of my eleven GCSEs, uh, typing on a computer, dude. I think she I think she wanted to fucking kill me, because, I mean I'm sure you guys have heard. How I type on stream. I'm a I'm a fast fucking typer because I'm chronically online and all I do is sit there and type. She fucking hated me because she never learned to type in her life. She would type like this. And I would be like Which is like not crazy, but like I can type. And one time she said she couldn't finish her Macbeth question in one of her English mocks because I typed too loud that it distracted her. <laughs> and she tried to get me moved out of the- out of the- the room. And I was like, what? Like, I'm meant to be here. Anyways, um, I annoyed everyone in that room because I was awful and a dickhead. And I really didn't deserve- I don't- I get- under like the AQA and stuff, I'm allowed to type all of my exams because I don't have very good handwriting. Dude, everyone should be allowed to type their exams. It is actually an exploit. No way that- like no- I'm serious, like it brought on my grades like by three. I dude, I wrote once for a business essay in my GCC, I wrote two pages on font 11 in like 16 minutes. I couldn't have, I couldn't, I couldn't have done that in a fucking hour on by hand. Sorry. Someone came in. Ah, yo. This is my song, man. Wait, did I, um... Oh, no, I thought I had an emote, but I think I removed it. Thank you for the raid! I hope you had a good stream. Ah! Two hour mark? Yo, let's keep going, I think. Chat? Will you guys uh, um, kill me if I tell you that I'm not streaming on Saturday, I don't think? I think I'm hanging out with friends. Don't say yippee. How is that a good thing? You have friends? <laughs> God, man, be normal. Dude, if it was like, um, if like Tubbo was alive, 
I'd be like, okay, like I'd have a load of influx of like annoying viewers. But you guys are like the, you guys are like um, you know when you get a strainer and you pour flour through it to like strain it. You guys are like the strained flour. Like you guys are like the the cream of the crop. You know, you guys are meant to be the good ones. Though. We're gonna have to watch John A. No, I'm trying to get John A. to to hang with me. Question mark? No, the cream of the crop is like a. That's like a compliment. Like, that's a good thing. I'm not cream. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the saying means, I'm shrooms. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Chad, that's the saying, right? The... It is. Le creme de la creme. Wait, is that what is that what that means? No, the fuck it's not. No, the fuck it's not. That is not the same thing. Is that the French way to say it? Jesus. Dude, I never knew that. I feel like they're interchangeable. Yeah, no, they are interchangeable. But are, are they the same thing? Are you talking about the French sentence? Yeah, I didn't think it meant that. Because there's no word for crop in the sentence. Is there an Italian version? Dude, I have no idea. No, yeah. The French saying came first. What in chat if you think French people are gay? Sorry, sorry guys. Apparently, the crops are inspired by the cream. <laughs> That's such a fucking stupid sentence. <laughs> I'm inspired. Yes. Thank you, Milton. Are they gay or are they European? Don't unban her. Don't unban. I'm I'm doing the M shrooms uh, unban request tomorrow at the start of the stream. I told them not to send it. I'd be fucking. I fucking hope so, Milton. Since you're the one who has to moderate the chat. It would be nice if you start pre-firing things. Millie said to do it. Not as a chat if you believe it. No! Shit, Millie, democracy doesn't lie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Millie, Millie, I, Millie, I'm just taking the piss out of you. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> Fuck you. Do you guys think it would be an epic prank if I went live tomorrow with with no mods? <laughs> Yeah, no. I think it would be a pretty good, pretty good prank. Sky post! Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Crab. Ooh! 
to my song. Do you hang in, hang in my soon? Uh... Maybe. We can recreate the stream every once. Scott, can I, can I, um, can I bring Jude with me? Okay, call me off the stream. Uh, we'll talk about it. Cause we, we could do this Saturday. Guys, do you want me to recreate that iconic stream of me and Scott post setup? For some reason, I found out that that's like, like loads of people's favorite streams. Like they fucking love it so much. Um, so if you guys, I mean, we could do that if you want. Which one? The the literal only stream I've ever done uh, from Scott's house. Uh, Max UG's archive. Um, hold on. It's like one of my most viewed ones. Uh, this one. Like for some reason everyone fucking loved that stream. So yeah, we can recreate that. Me and Scott post, we can make out on stream! Yippee! Sorry, that's only a yippee for me, I think, actually. Why are there two VODs channels? One of them's not uh, ran by me. Uh, it's it's ran by Martin Holland. Uh, it's basically the main channel. I'm like, I thought about giving him the login to just my channel. Uh, but then I I don't really want to do that because it's kind of connected to my personal stuff. Okay, this is the dude. He's trying so back to win back his uh his uh Pinterest uh, number one favorites boy. Uh, he's gonna get those fucking star designs in his head. I'm serious. That's what he's gonna. I bet you fucking that. That's what he's doing. He wants to be number one on Pinterest so fucking badly. Because when you look up Bill Zone, it comes up with the hot British man, I'm pretty sure. As the... Oh, where is it? There's like that, that one thing from, um... Dude! I was fucking right! That's crazy! That's crazy! Hot... Dude, this is... This, this is crazy! This is a crazy... Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> There he is, British man. The cream of the the cream is inspired by the crop. <laughs> Don't worry, Scott. You have to fin that man. I'm sorry. Guys, are there any emotes that you'd like the name changed of? Cause now I can do that, sir. Oh, uh. Any of these that like you'd you really like hate the name and want it changed? Swap this so it's after JKS. I can't do that. I can change it to leave if you want. Just L E A V E. Like the contrary of arrive, the cat emote. Okay. All in favor to change Jake Gyllenhaal leave to just leave. Type one in chat. If I don't get enough ones, I'm not doing it. Okay. I'll change it. Ready? And this should work right away. Type leave, capital L. I love technology! Yes! Say hi to Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Come to Brazil. Can we change this? No, I like that one. 
That's how I want it. Chat! I think I'm gonna call it a day. Dare I say? Dare I say that I think I'm... I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the cream of the crop. I'm gonna end stream. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Shit! Fuck! No, that's not what I meant to press! That's not what I meant to press! Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Um... Alright. There's a new one in Chungus. Wait, hold the phone, chat. Right, there's a new thing. Wait, uh oh. Uh, okay. Live John A reaction. He looks like, um, he looks like he's been trying really hard to, to, to make a Tesla coil. And, uh, he touched it. And, uh, now his hair's gone all frizzy. He looks like a mad scientist. Look at him. He's got that, like, rough Logan Paul cut. I'm sorry, John A. It's the truth, man. Uh, alright. Chat, guys, thank you for hanging out. Holy shit, I just realized fucking Bill's live, um, George is live, Tubbo's live, and you guys chose me. Aw, thank you. Uh... I'm gonna raid Austin. He's never live when I'm live. I'm gonna raid him. Thank you for hanging, chat. I'll be live fucking tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow. I should be. Uh, thank you guys for hanging. Um, it's been a, honestly with you guys, it's been a rough few days for me with streaming. I've really not, um, had the had the most viewership or anything because it's because I've been ill and stuff. But uh, today was good. Today was really good, and I'm uh, I'm gonna, I'm getting back into being consistent after being ill. So uh, thank you guys. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye bye.